Come on, Zach. Let's go. We are the champions <laughs> of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We will keep right, shush, shush. Okay. What is going on, guys? It is Kieran Barb, and we are back with episode number three. No, four. 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 No, four. 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 Number four. four. We are back with episode number four today. We are strictly doing Q and A. We are doing taking questions from our Instagram, and in this video, if you have a question or you want to answer on a Q and A. Comment down below on this YouTube video any question you want and we will answer it in the next podcast um, because we like questions, really. So I'm going to get started on the first question. I literally haven't looked at these questions. Let me see. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the first question, should I say who's asked it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say who's asked it and everything. So the first question is by Barbara Baldwin and he said... Jobs your customers have that you'd enjoy or like do for a week or a year. So is there, so I think he's asking what are your customers' So we have certain customers who have different kind of jobs, et cetera, et cetera. If you weren't doing barbering, which of your customers' jobs would you like to do? Who wants to go first? Zach, you want to go first? I can't even remember their jobs. It's been a while. (laughs) That's rude. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know who we've got who is a really cool customer? Me and you both share him as a customer is... Ash, and he done. Ashwin. Ash- <laughs> Hi, it's me, Ashwin. I work at Morrison. I work at Morrison. A different Ashwin. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can you just pull the camera, just like my camera here? Can you just pull it, like twist it? Other way, other way, other way, other way. Yes. There we go. You're about so- to say you'd love to work at Morrison's. <laughs> What's wrong with working at Morrison's? Yeah. Nothing. Get discount Archie for your food shop. And, and free parking. <laughs> Um, oh yeah yeah so uh, Ash does cameraman. is a cameraman for like sports yeah. Yeah. you know who I'm on about yeah, he where he does like boxing, yeah. box he does all of like Andy yeah. Joshua's fights yeah. he does all of Tyson Fury's yeah. fights and he's he, he literally stands on the ring mm. and films like the fights so he has he's the closest guy to the action when like yeah. Andy Joshua fights and stuff like that and he's been doing that forever that's that's one of the jobs I think that's a fucking cool job I'd like to do yeah, that that's pretty sick go on and you got to top that now it's hard because we've got like we got football like professional footballers as clients yeah. and stuff like that as well. I couldn't be a professional footballer. <laughs> it looks very tough. But that's all right. Go on, Zach. Who who would you have as a customer? Yeah, I'd do the same thing. I'd like to do like media. Um, like I said to you earlier with music, I have a, cu- a couple of customers that do like music production. So they go to like concerts. Like um, oh, I've got one guy. He goes to like Reading Festival, Glastonbury. And he does like all the sound ed- engineering. So behind the stage, you know, putting all the mics and the amps together and stuff, it's, it's, it's him that makes it work. I'd like to do that. Do you know, cool. you've got a cool customer that does... Um, in- oh, F1. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, Bailey. Bailey, like Bailey? Ba- no, I'm not even talking about Bailey, but Bailey works. Bailey... That'd be sick. He creates, makes F1 cars for Mercedes. So that's pretty cool. No, but your other guy has the mohawk and he creates all the fucking monsters for Game of Thrones. Oh, like he, um, he creates all the suits uh, and stuff for Game of Thrones. Effects, yeah, yeah. yeah, so he does literally special makes effects on creates the all the special scale. effects. I think I know who you're on about. He's sick and he has a mohawk. He's really cool. And <laughs> he, um, I, was, I just talked to him for ages because it's like, he's like, yeah, I just made this. And it's like one of the main Game of Thrones characters. And he's like designed all their costumes. Oh, I'm thinking of like another. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking of your customer, the one that actually designs and makes games. Oh, well, um, oh, Dan, Dan DeRosha, yeah, yeah, he's really he's cool. cool. Yeah. He's super cool. Have you seen his hair at the minute? No. He's grown that afro. It's like, Is he really? <laughs> he's like, yeah. he's big. Yeah, <laughs> Dan, Dan's a legend. The, room, and the cool thing is with Dan, Dan's, when he's got games, what come out on certain platforms, he's like, oh, Kieran, here's a code, like, play the game, yeah. try the game. So I like shit. I like free games. Yeah. So, yeah, Dan. Um, when you actually think about it, there is quite a lot of, some customers do have some cool jobs. Like you said about Bailey with the F1, if I was into cars because i know you're into f1 if i was into that i think that'd be sick that's amazing because mm. he, he's really into that so yeah he, well what he what his job at f1 is he designs uh, mechanic no it's, well yeah it is but he's, yeah designing the parts no 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 see you're interrupting me <laughs> he designs the virtual machines for the drivers what they practice in off season Okay, so good. it's like the oh. big screens around and the, the car so he actually designs them machines what the drivers practice on Oh, did cool. you not know that, or did you know that, Zach? Is that what Bailey? No, I thought yeah, he did. Um, I thought he worked like you know how 
you put the card together, it's made up of loads of different parts. I thought he no 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 he, no part. from what from what he told me, and I could be wrong, Bailey. If you're listening to this, please correct me but he makes the virtual machines that the drivers practice on no it's sick That's yeah cool. no it's sick should we go to Should next get question? Another question so jamie keen asked what is your proudest moment in your barber career get in second place <laughs> <laughs> student barber of the year uh, no you come first in the errol douglas awards yes Errol Douglas, if you're listening <laughs> um I mean, I won Master Barber a year. That was pretty cool. I think my probably my proudest moment is building my team and getting this shop. Like that's my. Even though winning a, winning an award is cool, yeah, but building something is much cooler. I would I would take this any day over winning an award. Mm. Yeah. Like what we have now is yeah. the structure to the shop is incredible. Yeah. Um, we've we've had staff come in and out, and I think now we have the like perfect balance. Like. But yeah, so that's my probably my best moment. Go on, Zach. What's your best moment? What's your proudest moment in the hair industry right now? <laughs> I feel obviously, yeah, obviously work with you guys. And then for me, it's going to sound silly, okay. but you know, slider cuts. <laughs> slider when cuts. Slider cuts first, because like, he was the first, I guess, like industry icon um, that ever like commented on my Instagram, commented on one of my haircuts. And it was just, it was just a comment. It was, you know, nice haircut or something. But for me, I was like, yes. What about that? Finally. What about, about that time that Vic blends like the load of your photos? You oh, and that, yeah, gas. yeah. I got, I got that screen recorded on my phone, yeah. Screen recorded that. <laughs> What's well, what would you say yours has been like coming in and out of like? Would you say like learning beauty? It's been a big thing for you, like doing the beauty side of things. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, do you know, I think um, the whole process of coming in, um, starting off like as an apprentice, then doing barbering at college, <clears throat> learning beauty, coming back, and now I've got like everything. I feel well, 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 we, we kind of touched on college barbering, didn't we? Which mm-hmm. I probably want to talk about a little bit more, especially as you're here now. Like right? yeah. in the last podcast, we yeah, talked about I, it without you being here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll touch on that in a bit. What, what's your? What would you say your your biggest thing that you've achieved? Um, Do you want me to say your biggest thing that I think you've achieved? Um, you know, what it is? it's just like being constantly booked. That's. That's it's just the little things, man. It's that's like, literally what I was going to say. Like, I was like building your, for me, if I was your foot, yeah. it would be building your customers. Yeah, I'm just happy I have like a solid like customer base. Like people would wait to book me, like book for me. So Months, that, that, yeah. months yeah. upon months in advance. Yeah. I, I take that over anything. Like I've built this shop and I've built you guys and we've yeah. built together. And it's, it's just nice knowing people actually like trust you. Like I'm constantly getting messages. It's just, it's a nice feeling. Like people actually want to get well, when your haircut from you. Yeah. Yeah. Wish I had that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, and next question, Zoe. So, Norman Dotree says, I'm currently employed but thinking of going self employed. What are the benefits and the cons? Uh, um, I, I don't think there's over being employed. So, I was employed in my previous job, and you get a set wage. Um, I don't know if you get a set wage. You've never been employed, you've always been self employed with me, correct? Pretty much, yeah. Unless you were employed somewhere else, so I don't know about. <laughs> a rich man. Well, <laughs> nah. What What would you call like me w- working at fucking is it Fresh Cuts? How long were you working there for? for? Like a week. Were well, you getting get away? No, that nah, was. That. Wasn't, it wasn't a set way. You just pay me whatever you wanted. I was like. That was sure. that was a trial. Yeah, that wouldn't have been anything. This is my first proper job. Mm. Um, Zach, you were employed at your previous job, or were you self-employed? Yeah, yeah. So sort of set wage, yeah employed did my haircuts for the week and then got my set amount of money at the end of the week okay yeah so as as a boss and i've done both and my start you guys were all self-employed um for me i think it's the only ball ache with self-employed is having to do your books yeah that's what i was thinking other than that it's your your own free will like because i I don't know what kind of self-employment you're looking at though because Everyone on here is on a structure of percentages. Yeah. So you. So get I think so- that's another question someone had asked about. Um, do people? Here you go. Are your barbers self-employed, or do they get a day rate, or do you think barbers expect a full client list? So he's asking, do we rent chairs or take a percentage? Who, who was that? Let's just get their um, names. So this we can was get them in Laura. There. Laura Alpha Barber. Laura Alpha Barber. Okay. So, as I've said, you guys are all on percentages. We've briefly talked about doing rent a chair, which it would only work 
if everybody yeah, in the shop did rent it. Rent a chair because then it would be a structure. I don't want to change it. Like, okay, Richard's going to rent a chair. Zach's percentage. Corbin's rent a chair and Zoe's percentage. It wouldn't work like that. Percentage for me is just like, it's the best way. And then you guys, I, the best thing I like about what I, I really respect about you guys is that you could like, like, and this is true. You could be dicks and you could go, man, I'm on a percentage. I'm on X amount a week. I'm going to cut my haircuts down to 15 minutes because I just want fucking money upon money mm. upon money. You could literally earn so yeah, much if I, you wanted to. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want that. Like, we've decided to increase our... Times. Fuck, yeah. we've all, we're all earning less money, if yeah, anything. Much, yeah. But for the last six months, we fucking had no money. So <laughs> any money is, yeah, is grateful, you know what I mean? And, and I think coming from the first lockdown, I was the one where I was like... <laughs> I was so I was the one who was like let's let's cut down our times let's just get in let's get more money we need more money and now with this lockdown I'm like I'm going to our appointments I yeah. need to do a 40 to 45 minute haircut mm. and then 15 minutes of tear down clean down wipe down and yeah. get ready for the next customer and I think that then the only thing with our appointments if it's you get a no show yeah because that's I mean, a whole hour yeah. and you're just like well, what the fuck do I do like but yeah, so to answer them two questions, for me personally, self-employment and a um, and percentage, percentage works is. perfect for us. And I but that might with the, go on. With the um, like benefits of the pros and the cottons, um, so obviously being employed, you would then be on a set wage so you would know exactly what you've yeah. got coming in. Um, whereas in here... And sick pay, you get sick pay. And sick and pay. Um, you're all right. <laughs> Um, whereas it can vary from each week depending on how many customers. Yeah, and I suppose do. with lockdown being employed, you would get furlough yeah. and stuff like that, which furlough for people that have been employed has been really, really good. And for the self-employed, unfortunately, it's been really shit. But yeah. So, so I suppose there's, there's it's like more um, like security almost. Yeah, if, you, if you're employed, you've got a lot more security. With self, and self-employment, you've just got to put money aside pretty much. And yeah. <coughs> hope that nothing happens. Next question, what you got? Honest, so this is from Bill Bob Barber, and he said, honest opinion on the pissed off barber. Um, you guys don't really follow him, do you? Um, I don't know if you do. Do you follow him? I, I think I see his post, like, yeah, I think I do follow him. Okay, Zach, you follow him? Yeah, yeah, I follow him, yeah. Okay. I you, think do, you, do you still follow yeah, him? Yeah, I follow him. I think he's funny. He is funny, he is yeah. funny, and he's... he's do you know what? I speak to him quite a bit um, on a level and he's actually he's an all right guy. Like, There's nothing yeah. wrong with him. Mm. Um, I think he's just got a screw loose like the rest of us. <laughs> 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 he's literally just got a screw loose and he's uh, he's a bit crazy. But I like that. I've, normal's boring. Um, yeah, he's all right. He's a nice guy. <laughs> That's I don't know. What else can I say? I, I think people put, kind of want me to go, oh, he's a fucking arsehole for what yeah, he's doing. Yeah. Rah, rah, rah. But I don't I find some of his stuff really, really funny. <laughs> So, this one's. I think what he's doing is good as well. Like the way he's doing his platform, no one else is doing that. So he's sort of. And if people didn't like it, he wouldn't have a following, right? He's got what, like forty thousand followers, maybe. Is that too generous or? Um, Got quite a lot of following. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I think he's got around that. He must have around that by now. I think um, lots of barbers like him because he just posts like things that sometimes you might think. Yeah. He like blows it up to a bigger degree. Yeah, yeah. And fifty. He's got fifty thousand actually. Yeah. So he's got fifty thousand followers, and do you know what? He sells clippers. He sells. Yeah. He went from being a barber Merch. and going, do you know what? I hate the fucking industry. To going, I'm gonna slag off the industry as just yeah. a shitty meme page. And it went. Then people. I think barbers were like, oh my god, he's gonna out me. I'm fucking. I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Like I'm a fucking fat cokehead or something <laughs> and he's like he outed so many people for mm. she, like he wants to fight rob the original for fifty thousand pound wow. <laughs> yeah, he, said, he said rob the original get your babblest money and we'll have a boxing match the winner gets fifty thousand pound the then he's gonna have to like reveal his face as well no nah, he said he'd do it in his mask <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind, I'm blind. <laughs> I think he still beat up Rob the original <laughs> in his mask. <laughs> Rob the original does not look like a fighter. Um, oh, bless him. Okay, um, next question. So this is by Coco M A X X I. You know who Coco Maxi is? No, I Spence. don't. 
Spencer. Spencer. Um, a customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Spencer. Spencer. Um, so he said, have you ever told a client not come back for any reason? I think you've probably got quite a lot of stories. Yeah, well, we touched on, we touched on... Um, do you, do you know about what happened with Carl farting in the chair? Yes. And then calling me a cunt yeah. and... Told me about that and, and then, you told him just yeah. to go out. So, yeah, that was that. Um, there's been a few people have been banned for either, like, being dicks or... Yeah. not turning up. Not turning up. That's yeah. probably one of the main reasons yeah. is, like, not turning up. That's... Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran Goodman asked, as a new barber, would you recommend merging my current Instagram... Um, with my barbering Instagram, or two separate? Two completely separate ones. Um, you have your training page for your training, and then yeah. you have your barbering page yeah. for your barbering. I don't have a personal page. No, I, I don't really have a personal yeah. page. Um, Zach, you have just one page or two pages? Yeah, just one page. Yeah, which is just your barbering page, which... <laughs> I think I think you could. I think if you if you want a barbering page, then have it strictly barbering. It looks more aesthetically pleasing, mm. doesn't it? And um, and then do stupid shit in your stories. Yeah, you've got two. Yeah, I got two. I've got a personal account and then a business. Account. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've got two. I've got Kieran underscore Price and then Kieran the barber. Um, which I don't really post much on my personal account. I just it's for more like. I, I find it weird posting pictures of my kids on my barbering page, like, because it's got 100,000. So you're personal, do you post, like, photos of your family? Yeah, photos like of that? family and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I think it got to a point where I got quite a big following, and then that certain thing happened with that kid, as we talked about earlier, Callum. Yeah. Oh, you had to delete all your pictures of your family and stuff. No, and I just blo I blocked him, and then I deleted it, because I was like, <laughs> he had said some really inappropriate stuff, which could could have been a joke, could have been a joke. Um, and I was just like, hang on, if someone's thinking like that, how many other people are thinking like that? And I'll mm. put pictures up of my kids and I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want a hundred thousand people to see my kids yeah. now. I think it's. So they'll get, I'll, if, if, I, like, if I post thoughts. a picture of Riley's haircut, yeah. that's different. I'll post a picture of Riley and his haircut, but my kids just running about playing. Um, out of a hundred thousand people, you know, there's going to be a few, couple of weirdos in there. Yeah. And so I'd rather not. So I just post on my personal account yeah. now and that's. That's how it is, and that's sad that the world's gone like that, but that's how it is. Next question. Um, how has the lockdown affected your business? Oh, not only fucking any money, are we? No. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's affected business. Oh, we have no business. <laughs> we have zero customers. Um, we haven't cut any hair during lockdown. And, yeah, it's, what can you say? I think it's yeah. affected everyone's business. Yeah, literally, yeah. I think everyone's in the same boat and that's probably mm. the best. If I was like, shit, this is just us, then I'd be fucked. Yeah. And like, just say we were quiet then, but Boldies or Amazing Barbers down the road, they, they had loads of customers in their shop. I'd be mm. like, oh, fuck. So I know lots of businesses have had to close because of lockdown and stuff. Um, so I think when this, so Barbara Josh asked this question, like, how's it affected the business? Do you think at any, did that cross your mind at any point? Did you think... I'm going to have to close it. Nah, nah, nah. We've got a really cool landlord. Our landlord's yeah. really nice. And he was just... So I had a nice phone call with him. He was like, look, I know you've got a family. And he was just honest. He was like, what am I going to do? Kick you out and then try and find someone else to come in? In lockdown. In lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. like, it's pointless. He goes, what we'll do is... When you're... He goes, we'll, we'll, we'll put a freeze on your rent. And when you come back, we'll just add it on. And I think I've got to pay six months worth of rent, which I'll just pay a month and a half yeah. for the next six months and I'm I'm back to I'm normal. Yeah, yeah, so it's it's quite easy. That's so that's good it job really. That we've got a good landlord. Yeah, that's that's yeah. The but there's also there's also a rule that you can't get kicked out of your barbershop or salons okay. anyway. Yeah. You literally can't. Even if they wanted to, they can't kick you out. There's a rule what went and it was it went up to the thirty first of March and now it's gone up to the first of July. Okay, good. So people are able so to So you can't get you physically can't get kicked out because yeah. of the, the laws. Mm. Okay, next question. Um, Lord Lewis asked. Lord Lewis. <laughs> do you know if Bold, <laughs> do you know if Baldy has any plans to set up an OnlyFans account? I'm asking for a mate. Do you know what's funny? I actually screenshotted that and sent it to him. And I was like, <laughs> he went, "What's an OnlyFans?" Oh I was like, God. "I was like, I don't know. I think you've got to put pictures of your dick on there." <laughs> and he was like, "I don't think I will do that." And I was like, "Fair, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough." <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, no. <laughs> to answer your question, <laughs> I, I think he said no. Okay, next question. Not related as such, but could you do a vlog on good home beard trimmers and care, please? Um, beard trimmers at home. What is it? Yeah, brawn. brawn. I always go brawn. Even yeah. we use brawn in the shop sometimes. Yeah. Like brawn series nine. the brawn series nine, the brawn series five. The, um, that flip thing. Yeah, it comes with the flip up where you can yeah. trim it down yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. What about home trimmer? Like, is there any home? Do you know what's funny? Is that you can probably go on eBay or Amazon and you can get a professional barber trimmer for the same price that you would go into if you're willing to spend like fifty quid on a trimmer. Mm. I'm sure you could get a, a trimmer on yeah. Argo or Amazon, which is a professional oh, yeah. one. I'll probably go with a wall detailer. Yeah, wall detailer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, something like that. I don't, yeah. how, I don't know how much they are, but... Like 50 quid. Yeah, so yeah. I'd rather go yeah. professional. I'd rather go, do you know what, spend a little bit more, get a professional mm. one instead of... Because I don't think anything <clears throat> under 40 quid is going to last that long. Nah. So, yeah, to answer your question, just go on eBay, Amazon, get something more professional. And if you want, I mean... If you're willing to spend the money, the Braun series five upwards are very, very good. So yeah, hundred quid. Yeah, they're about hundred. Yeah. It's worth it though. One hundred percent. We we used we went through. Are you? We all brought one in here, didn't yeah. we? And we just went through them. <laughs> um, go on. The next question. Be- what's the best thing about being a barber? Who said that? This was Shannon. Go on. Aldbra, X. Shannon Aldbra. Old okay. bra. And what's the best thing about being a barber? I feel like it's just getting to know new people. Socially. Yeah. It's socially such a good job, isn't yeah. it? Like it's so sh- Zach, what's your best thing about being a barber? I think like um like the creativity in the sense of like like you know, a bar shop is quite laid back. You can sort of dress how you want, tattoos, stuff like that. It's, you can really express yourself uh, as an individual. And again, yeah, like you said, you know, mixing with customers, it's lovely meeting new people. But I think the whole creativity of it, you know, sort of being able to create your own things, whether it's for a picture for Instagram, it's really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. No, I agree. I agree. I think it's one of the things where um, you get to be creative and socially it's just, I think that's the one thing during lockdown that we've probably all lost is like, considering we're all, we're all very social, we have a social job we're constantly talking to customers day in day out that's the one thing i've probably missed the most is like i can't talk to customers like i can't have that get out of the house like have that different different interaction of talking to 10 to 15 people a day having a laugh with you guys like that for me socially has been drained and that's probably that's probably like affected everyone's mental health is like Mm -hmm. The anxiety and stuff like that. Like when I get back, what the fuck am I going to talk to out to people? I, did, I was thinking like the other day, like, what have you been up to? Well, yeah. nothing. <laughs> what about you? Nothing. I've got an hour to cut their hair. Christmas. You got anyone on a holiday? No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Christmas is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, but yeah, I think I think it's one. Well I think so. If you've got like um, some customers throughout the day, everyone's coming in for different reasons. Like one person, well, obviously not now, but one person might be coming in and they're going on holiday. And mm. um, one mo- person might have a job interview. Next person could go into a funeral. Yeah. Like it's mm-hmm. so different and different types of people as well. Yeah, 100%. Um, go on, next question. I can't see these ones at the bottom, so I'll just go on to the next ones. Yeah, sweet. Um, you got any good ones? <laughs> Eric, Eric. <laughs> Um, okay, so what age would you consider to be a barber at his or her's peak? They say your bar- they say keep your barber young. Mm-hmm. I've not heard that saying before. Have you heard it before, Richmond? No, nope. uh, I've never heard it. No, I think there's some really talented barbers that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you can peak at being a barber. I think you can. I think what you do is you. In your younger ages, you build up your foundations, as in like a Richmond and Zach right now. Is you've you've just completed it pretty much, as you've got a full fully listed customers. Mm. Zach, you're currently you're really close to being fully fully booked constantly. Um, same with yep. Corbs and same same with Zoe with, with the beauty and the hair, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That for me is a foundation that you're never really going to lose. If customers stay with you, they're going to stay with you until you're going to grow altogether kind of thing. Like, 
I, I genuinely yeah. believe customers won't go anywhere else even if you i don't think you can you can get worse you can get lazy not worse you can get lazy you can go oh. and we all have them days where as you've said and you've said as well zach where you go oh, i could have done that better mm. we all have them days yeah. everybody has them days but i don't i think with your customers they probably don't even notice that you you notice that and yeah i think build, building a foundation do, do you do you agree yeah I, th- I think I think it's one of them things where you you build you build your clientele and then they stay with you forever. Yeah, do you think soon. age has anything to do with it? So if there was say um, an old barber and a younger barber, would you like sort of think that they were different in any way? No. Like, would age make a difference? If there was, so, so let's just say let's just say uh, use Boldy as an example because he's like seventy five. <laughs> if if Boldy was in the shop and Zach was in the shop and yeah. I had to pick a barber, yeah. I don't mean I don't think it, it's it, walking into a new barber shop. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I would give a shit. And, and then I get a haircut from one of them. It'd either be good or bad, and you pick the other one next time depending on how good or bad it was. Yeah. I don't. But then I. I don't know. I'm getting. I'm. I say, what am I? I'm 33 now. I'm going to be. Am I 33 or 34? I'm 33. I'm going to be 34 this year. Fuck here now. You know. <laughs> I don't know. Am I peaking? Am I getting to a point now where they're like, that's the, that's like the old barber? Nah, nah. I feel like I can. Like, look at what we're doing. I'm constantly changing things. Yeah. I'm constantly like, right, let's make a yeah. podcast. Let's do this. I want to film haircuts. I want to do this. Constantly changing. Constantly I'm adapting. Thing, yeah. yeah. So. I think if you get to a point where you're in the motion of, oh, I'm just doing daily, daily boring shit, then yeah, you do slowly dig yourself into a hole. But other than that, I think, I don't think that age matters really. Yeah. As long as you're, I think, as long as you're adapt- go on Zach. I was gonna say, I think like you've said before, it doesn't matter what your age you are, but it comes down to like your spark. Like you could be an 18 year old barber cutting hair if that spark's not there, like the um the passion, that's what yeah. sparks out. It doesn't matter whether you're 40, 50, 10, 12, you know what I mean? Cutting hair, just, you've got to have that spark there. When that spark goes, then that's what sort of deciphers you from a good or a bad barber. You just lose interest. Like, you, you know, when you said, um, you know, I've heard you say before, like sometimes when a rich has been recording, like he'd be recording constantly when he was that motivated you to then record as well if you hadn't been as much before and vice versa. So I yeah. think having your spark is a, is, is a big thing, having that there. Yeah, and I think when we all get back, we'll all have a big fucking bright spark where we're oh, all yeah. going to be taking yeah. photos yeah. and we're all going to... And the only, then the only thing from that is we just can't let that fade out. We've got to keep that spark running and yeah. we've got to keep that. That's why we've got to keep doing new things, keep mm. it Like these podcasts have been a blessing for all of us, like just getting out of the house, chatting to each other, etc., etc. So it's been good. Next question. Um, so the same person said, the longer you do it, the older you get, the more experience you have, right? So that's leading on from yeah. the last question. So do you think that? Do you think yeah. that the longer you do it, the more experience you have? Yes and no. Um, because you could just be doing the same shit every day, day in, day out. Yeah. And then you could become just, uh, just two back and sides, two back and sides, <laughs> two back and sides. Yeah. You've got to experience, you've got to want to do better. Yeah. You've got one like you guys, you're always on YouTube looking at new ways to cut, new ways to fades and stuff like that. And there's barbers your age who don't give a shit. They will just go, cool, I'm just going to cut. I'm, I'm good, so I'm going to cut. And they won't look at new ways of cutting or buy new mm-hmm. clippers. They'll stay with them, same clippers that they've had for the last 10 years. And, you know, oh, it works for me, so I'm just going to have it as you guys are like, what's new? Let's try something new. Let this clipper's just come out. Like, yeah. You lot get gassed in the group about new clippers coming out. So... <laughs> I I think it's all about it's it's all about the person. I yeah. think regardless of age, fucking whatever, if you want to push yourself, you're yeah. you're gonna push yourself. Yeah, definitely. So Stamino Fitness asked, if you wasn't a barber, what would you be? Well, we just kind of went over that. They didn't. Yeah. Really, it's kind of. Sorry, but, Steph, mate. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Steph. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. What so, else. so uh, what? You said last time that you would like if you didn't have no money, you were mm. like you were sixteen again and barbering wasn't a thing, what would you what would you like to get into? Because you can't invest, you can't invest, you've got no money, so yeah. you can't be an investment. Just to be fair, back in school I wanted to be an accountant. I'm boring. <laughs> it's good money, bro. So yeah. what have you gone through uni and stuff to do that? 
Yeah, I would yeah. have to. Yeah. Do you know what I wanted to be before a barber? I wanted to be a vet. Did you? Yeah, I proper. Oh, you love you love animals. I it? love animals. I proper <laughs> wanted to be a vet, and then I realised that you had to put animals down. <laughs> And so I saw my Aww. life, yeah. As soon as I found that, I was like, nah, you're good. I don't want to do, that's not my job. Oh, that's horrible. What about you? What um, did you want to do? Do you know, I don't actually know. I didn't have anything. When I was in school, there was nothing that I wanted to do. I felt like as soon as I left, like I would find what I was meant to do because I didn't place. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I did like a business management course. And I knew I wanted to do something with a business yeah because you did so many courses yeah didn't you? I did. like, you've done so many courses what about you Zakalak? i think yeah like like i said before i wouldn't mind doing music but then when i left school and that i was 16 when i left school so at that age i had no money and i was applying to jobs like you know retail river island clothing shops like okay ross noakes asked do you think deciding to be a bar do you think deciding to start a barbering career at 41 is too old? No, no, no never. You start any age. Yeah. Yeah. You're I agree. Never too old to do learn. anything. Yeah. Unless like you're a footballer because they kind of, you can't be a footballer at 41. <laughs> <laughs> like a professional one anyway. That, that reminds me as well. You know, the last question you said about, um, Clean. do you feel like as you get older, not that one. <laughs> the one where you said like, when you get older, do you feel like you get more experience? Yeah, I think that's true. But it pisses me off when you have a barber that's older and they think they're better than someone that's younger just because they're younger. Like, yeah. you know, when I, I big up Big Blends, he's been cutting there for three years and he is a better barber than so many people that have been cutting for 20 years. Mm. Doesn't mean you're better. Like you said, you, you can stop. There's a point where you can stop. You can never stop getting better. I don't think there's any point where you can go, I'm the best. And I think that, that's, that annoys me when you see like, older barbers they look down on younger barbers and they're like ah, they're young they don't know what they're doing and yeah you have more experience and of course you know from running a shop as well being someone that runs a shop you have so much more experience than someone that hasn't but in terms of barbering i believe you can be a barber that's cut hair for 20 years and still be shitter than someone that's only you're cut better hair than your years. old boss you're yeah i'd say that but I'd, I'd feel, i feel like because i'm more passionate than what he was i feel i think i'm more passionate than what he was Mm. Uh, he wasn't he never had the passion yeah, like i feel like i have now the job, so he stopped i think there yeah, is yeah, there exactly. is barbers that barber to work and there's barbers yeah. that barber because they love mm -hmm. it and yeah yeah well, i'm very cool. lucky that i built a team around barbers that love barbering you know Corb corbin loves loves barbering but he doesn't like to show off i think that's where corbin's at Corbin likes doing a really fucking good haircut. He's just like, I don't want to take a picture of it though. I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, to, like, like, force like a, him to take the picture. That's a fucking sick haircut. Take Let me take a picture. I'll say it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, go on, the next question. Um, so Darnell asked, zero gaps clippers? Question mark. I'm not too sure what he means by that. I think he's just asking. <laughs> I don't, zero I don't. gaps clippers. <laughs> Hang on, bear with me. Let me just. Like, what's our opinion on zero gapping clippers? Maybe, or do we do it? Yeah, yeah well, I, zero, we, I zero gap my clippers. Well, you zero gap our clippers. Yeah. yeah. We're not too close. To an extent. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't have every clipper zero gap. Yeah. You need something to break the line between. Yeah. yeah, I've got, what we got? We've all got about three, four sets of clippers each. And yeah, yeah. I think yeah. a couple yeah. of mine are zero gaps and a couple of mine aren't. Yeah. And, you know, I like the fact that if you've got, a, a, my Wolf Senior is gapped, but my Maggies aren't. And I can really stretch mm -hmm. out the blade on the Maggies yeah, to yeah. blend in yeah. half a lot better mm. into that one and stuff. And I don't like to zero gap all clippers just because of like, if you're doing kids. <laughs> Wait, what? No, he's just laughing because he's reading the questions. <laughs> How do you blend a line into someone's hair? Just hope right. for the best. Just. <laughs> that's, that's such a big open yeah, question. How, do you, how about you go onto my YouTube channel or Richmond's YouTube channel yeah. and we can literally explain to you how to blend in a line blend yeah. in a line on and anything can make a line a number one is, is zero and like anything, anything everything like foils yeah what <laughs> kind but you take line? out a line with what you put it in yeah, with i'd say yeah, in the main. simplest way if you put a line in with a one guard you're gonna take it out with that one guard that line not every line you're gonna take out a zero <laughs> line with a one guard but what you put it in with you take it out with. Oh, you bash it with the thinners <laughs> or bash it with the thinners bash it with the thinners <laughs> Fin a bash it or just don't create lines just skin everything has that stopped Hold. have a look see if I've got some more on Insta 
It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday, Sunday what? So it's Sunday, it's what? Friday, it's then. Friday then. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday, what? <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't got the questions anymore. Oh, shit. Um, what's the time anyway? Okay, we still got five Let's minutes. Let's make them up. Let's make them up. Question from John Smith. What? what haircuts are you looking forward to when we get back? I just like doing skin fades. <laughs> Okay, here's a question. I actually want to do a lot of tapers. I, I enjoy tapers. Like with um I, experience at I think this says worst experience at barber school and then and then it says I'm being so I'm assuming I'm being a barber. What? So worst experience at barber right, school. Right, so let's 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 cut back to um college. College, college yeah. yeah. And so you went you went through college and the teach I feel like for me it was really smooth. I feel like <laughs> the tutors were really nice to me. Like they they did not give me a hard time. The tutors, and I was there like once a week anyway, so there's not much for me to experience. The anyway. tutors literally loved you. Yeah. Um, I think the tutor literally loved you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. she was very much beside with you. Um, which is fair. And there was she was about seventy. <laughs> and there was another one. She literally <clears throat> done all my practical stuff. She just like literally did it for me. She's like, I oh, don't have to finish. I'll finish all this. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Oh. See what I mean? And then. Uh, but when when you when you were at bar when you were at school for barbering was your teacher a barber? Hairdressers, they're, yeah, they're all hairdressers, all the tutors. <laughs> mm-hmm. So they're just—it's just funny, isn't it? Like how mm-hmm. I couldn't—I couldn't teach hairdressers to hairdress, even though I'm a qualified hairdresser. Mm-hmm. I know my. I know I couldn't go and go, this is how you do foils, this is how you do a perm, this is how you do a fucking updo, or whatever it is. This is how you do plaits. I can't do plaits. My daughter asks me every morning, I can't do plaits. Um, she's like, Daddy, can you plait my hair today? I'm like, no, let's just put it up. Fucking <laughs> 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 you know. um, So, yeah, like, it doesn't make sense to me. And then, so you had, like, an okay experience from yeah. college. And then you had the worst experience. Did, they were yeah. fucking wankers to you. That is Ellsbury College, just to bear in mind. Ellsbury College are the fucking worst college. You were right to me. Do you know what? I think it was really difficult because... So I did an apprenticeship, so I went in as a... I think you went in as work-based apprenticeship. And yeah. then mine was work-based apprenticeship. But by the time I'd gone in... They changed the qualification. It was like mid, mid, mid (laughs) fucking. It was in the middle of your qualification that they changed the qualification. I think you were about to finish and then they changed the rules. So I'd signed up for a one year barbering course. Which you did. um, And I did. What you both did. And then about a quarter of the way through the course, he said, by the way, this is now two years. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, and you're no. gonna have to be in college like three, four days a week, or and something. you're gonna need to come in three or four days. And I said, well, I can't do that because I'm, I'm working. working yeah. You had clients, and like I can't, well, I actually can't. Um, and I felt like the whole time through, so you had to do like so many assessments. I was literally fighting for each one. Like the practical work wasn't an issue; it was all the paperwork to go with it, and them not cooperating. That was the issue. Didn't they? Didn't they fail you on a haircut because you didn't sweep the floor or something? Yeah, <laughs> like they, you swept the floor, so but you didn't sweep. Wow. I didn't sweep the floor while my client was still sat in my chair, and um, so then it's deemed as like health and safety. Um, so what you were, what you were meant to do was you were meant to cut the client's hair, yeah. sweep up, and then let them get out of the chair. And then yeah, then sweep up, then let them get out of the chair. I don't think I've ever done that. Have you ever done that? So you cut a client's hair before you, before they get up. You go, hang on a second. I'm just going to sweep Do you know around what? you. If there's yeah. loads never... of hair, yeah. like if there's a lot of hair on the floor, then yeah. But this was like a uh, one into a skin fade. Like there was <laughs> like little bits of hair on the floor. Like it wasn't a hazard. They were just being dicks to you. Yeah. The, the, and then she come in here and she tried giving it large. Well, do you know what? I think. Then I throw something or a proper shout. I think I did both, to be fair. I think I threw something across the room uh, and I shouted. So you walked into that. the back because you were so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I went psycho at her in the shop. <laughs> Fucking It was bitch. the week before that. Um, Kieran was really upset with me because the college had spoken to you and had said, like, you had spoken to them and said, right, when's she going to be signed off for everything? And they were like, well, she's not doing her work. And then you had been like, what are you doing, Zoe? Like, why aren't you doing your work? Yeah, so, I, yeah, I got the call to say that I, I rung them up and I was like, I want, I need Zoe to be qualified. Yeah. I, I 
this is ridiculous. And they were yeah. like, well, Zoe's not done any work. And I was like, what? Yeah, she has. She's been telling me she has. Then it made me so I like rung, a liar. I rung you up and I went mental at you because I was yeah. like, you're a fucking liar. Like, you, need to, <laughs> you, you didn't say that. I, didn't say, I would never say that to you. You fucking bitch. <laughs> no, I would never say that to you. But I was like, Zoe, like, you're why taking you a piss. Like, why aren't you doing yeah. your work? And you were like, I have. It's all here. Literally, you're stacked up. You're like, it's all here. So you brought it all in. And then the, your teacher... Had to come and do to, an assessment in the barber shop like every every other week, was it? Every few weeks? Yeah, and then she was like, oh, yeah, you, you have done this. We just lost it. Oh, I didn't sign it. Wow. So the reason it hadn't been put through my online file was because she hadn't put it through. Yeah, and it was her, the one that saying you ain't done nothing, but and she was like, oh, hadn't put it through. Oh, here's all your paperwork. Oh, you've, you've completed everything. Yeah, I know, that's what I've been saying for like a month. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just went, Gary, uh, yeah. I remember I just went psycho at the shop. <laughs> he walked out back. <laughs> yeah. I was so upset, I, honestly. Yeah, because it upset you and then it upset, it upset me because I'm not standing for that. I'm not standing for bullying. And it, to me, it felt like you were being bullied. You, No one else in your course was getting the treatment. Yeah, you I was going to ask, treatment. was it just you? Or like, obviously so everyone one. else was saying how shocking the course was. Um, no one else had it where their work wasn't... Everyone was... Oh my God, a rich. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else was really struggling to get their work signed off, but I don't think everyone else had um because I was going in with a different qualification to everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was extra difficult and extra hard. Like I was really fighting to get the bits of paper signed. But yeah, yeah, college was, and that's why I didn't send you to college, in it, Zach? But Zach was like, "Should I go to college?" I was like, "No, you're not. Just, just learn with us." Yeah. yeah. I was like, at the minute, yeah. you don't need a in the UK, you don't need a qualification to cut hair, yeah. and to put Zach through the stress that you went through, yeah. I weren't willing to do that yeah. again. I weren't willing to like men, mental health wise. You went through a lot of shit. So much. Because they were fucking assholes, yeah. and I'm, I am not having that for Zach. So. Yeah. But you got qualified. You got your, you got your qualification, got and that was like that was like how long have you been with me now? Like four years, <laughs> and you got it through like a couple of months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to collect mine with you, innit? Yeah, yeah, even the Richmond when I was in college, Richmond was like, oh, I passed it, but I didn't get my certificate, so we had to go into college. <laughs> yeah, and you had to. I, get I was it. too busy working. I didn't have the time to collect it. <laughs> oh, fucking, these, you're not lying though. You're not lying. But in regards to a qualification, I don't think. Um, you don't need one to obviously be a barber in the UK. And the only things that I learned on my college course was the health and safety aspect yeah. of things. And I've forgotten most of them anyways. <laughs> do you know what? It's because you, 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 you pick up your own health and safety stuff. Yeah. You know you know what and what not to do and not to we've do. We've got a sharp spin. Like we've yeah, got we've got a sharp spin. We've kit. got barber side. And I think that's that comes along with working in the barber shop anyway. Yeah. Zach knows all about health and safety. He knows if there's a fire to run out the front door. Yeah. You know, he's not going to run into the fire, is he? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just it wound, it wound me up that college was just a dick. Mm. And I wouldn't send anyone to Ellsbury College ever again on that on that basis. I, and we were talking about London School of Barbering. And I just want to clarify that we had discussed the London School of Barbering. People like I did a big, I did a snippet of my yes. last video and people were like, hey, I'm going to London School of Bible. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. And I kind of wanted that. I wanted discussion on it because I think, again, it comes down to experience and wanting a knowledge. And if you do a nine week course, which I don't think a lot of people need, is that you're either going to go away from that nine week course and there'll be, I, rec I reckon, and this is just me, 70% of them go, cool, I, I know how to cut hair now. And there'll be the 30% will really love cutting hair and they'll go, right, I'm going to still learn. I'm going to still... Yeah. Go. And and I mm -hmm. think... I feel like I'm constantly learning. Just I'm always watching tutorials, man. Like It's just I don't know, it's just fun to learn new things. Yeah, of course. And I think... But I think people people pay to go, no, I'm of course, that's it. I'm, I'm a barber. <laughs> and I don't think it's like that. I don't think you should think like that. And no. I, I, I wasn't trying to offend anyone. What yeah. I was trying to say was there's a lot of people that do this nine week course and then think they know it all and, and, and they learn very fast yeah. and they don't but there'll be that, that small percentage will go well I'm going to go into a shop now and I'm going to learn how to do it in a shop and I'm going to carry on learning and that's the way it is I think it's a little bit like driving like you can have your driving lessons and you can learn how to do everything and how you should be doing things but you 
don't learn to drive until you're on the road by yourself. 100%. Yeah. I crashed so, nearly crashed so many times in my first car. <gasps> Couple of weeks driving. Did yeah, you? your first time in my car, we always crashed. The first time I went in the Richmond's car, yeah. I nearly died. You know what? It wasn't my fault. It was my gearbox. <laughs> you had a dodgy gearbox. <laughs> you and Mercedes so just had a bad BMW. relationship, don't yeah. you? Yeah, my car right now, I've had it since September. How long is that? Like five, five months now? And engine lights come on twice already. And it's a what car you got? Tell everyone what car you got going. I don't know if you all know it. A Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what Lamborghini. car was original got? What car is original got? Yeah, it's he car. has a CLA 45 AMG. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's all right. It's only 30 grand. I've got Corsa. Right. <laughs> I've got Corsa. <laughs> or Zach's, I Zach's, or Zach calls my car the dead car. <laughs> And Zach, where do you know got? the story about that? No. That's the best story. I've never seen. I, do you know how pale Zach is? Yeah, I've never seen him go that pale. Honestly, I see him go ghost white. Yeah, he thought I was going to kick him in. What happened? Oh, uh, it was the best. Yeah, and I just I laughed it off. I thought it was I thought it was really funny. Yeah, but he didn't know how I was going to react. What happened? So, uh, oh, basically, we're both oh, having, shit, we're both revving our car. Yeah, and then I because he was leaving. I was leaving. The original car was behind me, so I was leaving, and I'd got out. And Richard would pull back in, but I'd forgotten something in the shop. So Richard goes in the door first. And I was like, oh, Richard, I'll run up behind Richard. I was like, oh, I forgot something. But he didn't hear that. As I'm coming in the door, he goes, who's revving their car? Is that your car? His fucking dead car. <laughs> no, I went, dead I'm Corsa. sorry. Oh, no, he's dead Corsa, yeah. And I went, you what, Zach? And he went, oh, I've never seen it again. All the customers here in the shop were like. And I was like, what? I was like, no, that is your fucking mum or granddad. <laughs> yeah, he got me. He got me. He got me. And he didn't know how to react. <laughs> it was so funny. I'd never seen him so shook. And even he said to you afterwards, he was shook, wasn't he? <laughs> 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 but I played it. I played it like I didn't. I didn't say that. Oh, that's all right to say that. But I also didn't say that. You just like, kept a straight yeah, face. I just kept a straight face, and I, and I walked in and out as quick as you like. And I was like, I said a couple of things and I walked out, yeah, and he must have been <laughs> shit himself. So I was just like, oh, I didn't know who was it. <laughs> <laughs> but I know this guy, I know this guy, yeah, and every time anyone walks out of a room, anyone, he'll be like, like even if a rich one walks out of a room, but like, oh, I'm fucking glad he's gone. You know, he, that's, his, that's what he does, that's what he says, I get it. If I get out of the car, if I get out of a rich man's car, I know what he's saying to a rich one, thank fuck he's gone. Oh. <laughs> That's the something that he says. Like, yeah. I get the joke. Like if it was, if I wouldn't have known Zach to just do that as a thing, then I'd be like, "What the fuck did you just say?" Yeah. <laughs> and then I got you mad. Think it was rude. Yeah, but as that's just that dickhead there, then you just let him off. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my car anyway. It's Yaz's, so you know you got to deal with her. <laughs> oh yes. Have you ever said anything while you've been cutting a customer's hair? Your personal relationship grows. What is that? How does that look? Okay, you know, for me. <laughs> Hmm? I don't know who that was. <laughs> Carry on. Have I ever? Have you ever been cut in a customer's hair and you said something where, like, you know, like how Zach? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, you know how Zach had said. Yes, yes, I you have. Know yes, I have. Say? Yeah. Do, do you know what? Oh, it was, I, I, know, I know a really bad one for you. <laughs> I, I think I know a couple. I think I know a couple for you as yeah. well. Yeah. Same, and I'll edit them out if they're that um, bad. But I remember being at Baldi's like in my first few weeks, right? Yeah. And I was cutting someone's hair and I was gassed and I was excited. And I remember being by the window and some woman was like walking by and I was like, oh, look at her, she's fucking ugly. Like, <laughs> and she walked in and it was someone's wife. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I never get that, bro. I walked straight out back, <laughs> I like, and I didn't know if he heard me or not. He didn't ever say nothing, yeah. But how loud did you say it? Loud, bro. The whole shit. You know how loud I can be. The whole job heard it, yeah. So I was like, I went. I said something like, um, she walked past, yeah, but she was walking slow, like she was walking across to like the bookies. <laughs> so I was like, look at her. She was. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. She was fucking ugly, yeah. So I was like, oh, fucking look at her, fucking ugly bitch or something like that, yeah. I was like, it was something as simple as that. You know how I'd say stupid shit. And she walks in and she's like, all right, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I, I know this. one that you said, but you can't put this one No, in. I know which one you're going to say. There was one time you were doing a lady's hair. Um, 
And then we were talking about Giacomo. I didn't know he'd buy like a fucking 5XL clothing. Yeah. And we were all laughing about it. And then she was like, that's when my son gets all his clothes. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, love it! Love it! Was it was just a random walk and you were doing, doing her hair. And we were just laughing about, oh, imagine having to go fucking Giacomo to get your clothes. And then she was like, that's when my son gets his clothes. <laughs> That is brilliant. That is oh, brilliant. No, I have to shop at Giacomo. <laughs> <laughs> I am Giacomo. I've got sponsorship, Giacomo, if you're listening. That was the most awkward thing that's ever happened. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think I you. It was the old lady. Yeah. And she was coming with her daughter. Yeah. Yeah, and it was them two. And um, we was talking and having a laugh about it. Oh, the old lady said it. No, the no, daughter. The, the daughter said it. She was like, oh, my, my son wears Giacomo. <laughs> and I noticed his face goes red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you remember that awkward time with fucking Jim and um, Loxley? Nah, bro, yeah. <laughs> it's all about karate. <laughs> There's another one. There's ginger one. You, oh, what ginger one? He was just saying, ah, oh, damn it. He, d- he does martial arts as well. He was taking the piss out of jujitsu. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. I can't oh remember. Oh god. But Jim was like, oh, jujitsu would win a fight every time, right? Loxley, <laughs> do you know how Loxley is? Loxley's like. Nah, bruv, it wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> she was like, if fucking would you, and I would show you. I was like, oh my god. I, he felt he was cutting along his hair, yeah. He's <laughs> like, it's like this, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> but Loxley, oh, fair play, so Loxley. Loxley fully backed it. Loxley mm-hmm. fully backed it. <laughs> but it was so intense because Loxley, like Loxley, was facing the mirrors. Right, Jim was down the road. Everyone's facing their mirrors. Loxy was going so mad at him that he was fully turning his head so I couldn't cut his hair because he was staring <laughs> Jim in the eyes he oh, was God. looking oh, God. behind I'm him I'm so glad we don't have to talk about a fucking jujitsu and UFC anymore <laughs> 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 oh right I think it, you know it makes me laugh it makes me laugh because it was it was literally a case of I think of it now and it was like you know we'd talk about going for lunch or getting food and if someone said no it'd be like well fucking fight then <laughs> the, like, the, lo- the loser of the fight is getting the food it's like, it, it is funny because that's actually how the environment was it was like if you're not going to do something then we're going to fight and then you're going to go do it after you're mad fucking Jeez, hell Christ. right let's wrap this up I, I'm going to edit most of this out <laughs> Maybe 20 I'm, minutes of fucking <laughs> I might keep some of it in <laughs> right guys this has been uh, a surprise. wrap we've answered your Q&A's again if you have any questions <laughs> you want to look at that one <laughs> is that what you fell in? What you think Hudson's gone? Yeah. That's a rat. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh shit, right. Right guys, that is a wrap. Um, if you have any other Q questions, Q questions, Q questions. <laughs> if you have any other questions, please comment them down below. We will answer anyone's questions on our next few podcasts. Um, please don't let it be about Zach's dead mum or my mum because my mum is called Katie Price and she is a slag so yeah guys nice seeing you um, thank you for watching if you've watched all the way through I think you're a wanker and I'll, um, I'll speak to you next week